Howdy, folks. I'm Brian. I'm Amber. And here's some Reddit. Our first letter is titled, Am I a jerk for refusing to support my partner's dream? I'm a 27-year-old female, and my partner is a 25-year-old female, and she's always been a little quirky. She comes up with these wild schemes, like one time she wanted to put a beard and robe on an ant and make it Ant Jesus, and have it teach the other ants moral lessons or something. I don't know, it was just one of her many weird ideas. Anyways, I've always assumed that she was joking about these things. I humor her for a little while and point out the flaws in her plan. As soon as she forget about it, she would move on to something else. But recently, she's come up with this idea and she won't stop talking about it. Human nests. She wants to build these nests in trees and make them big enough for people to live in so they can have the nest experience as opposed to the next experience. Not only that, but she wants to train crows to build these nests for her. Her grand plan is that she's going to befriend our local crows by feeding them and then they'll basically be her own little wing construction firm. I tried pointing out how this wouldn't work. Like, even if she could befriend the crows, she has no way of training them. And crows are little. How would they build nests that are structurally sound enough to support humans? She told me that we could figure all that out later. And that what she needs from me right now is $5,000 investment so she can get started. When I refused, she called me unreasonable and selfish and said that I never supported her dreams. She's been giving me the cold shoulder ever since and her friends and family have been bombarding me with texts and calls telling me how awful I am. I was sure that I was in the right, but after hours of non-stop harassment, I'm starting to wonder if maybe I should have handled things differently. I really do love her and I want her to succeed in life and I could afford to give her five grand. However, things would be a little tight for a few months and it seems like such a waste. Am I the jerk? All right, folks, what do you think? Jerk or not the jerk? I'm gonna say not the jerk. Oh, I'm gonna say the jerk. I think that this is actually a really sound and good no, idea. No, I do not think so. I think that this seems very, uh... what I wonder though is, did she actually tell her friends and family about what her dream is? Like, yeah, I can see that she would have done that. I mean, that this seems like a really good idea. No, in fact, nothing the about point, this seems like a good idea. To the point where I think that I would actually want to put $5,000 down right now no. to help this no. person with her dream. So, OP, no, no, no. OP, if you're out there and you really want this dream to succeed... Do not listen to Brian. This is bad, Brian's bad advice. Uh, yeah, but I, I do wonder, though, like, did she actually, like, tell her, like, friends and family the full story, or did she just say, my partner's being mean and not supporting my dreams? Well, I mean, even if she did say that to her friends and family, I think it's just in this case, because, like, this is such a good idea. It is not a good idea. even if you have to use a little bit of deception to get it, like, out there. This is Brian's bad advice. Apparently we're on Brian's <laughs> bad advice today. <laughs> I, I just think I like no, I think sometimes no. the ends justify the means and in this case in this case I think the ends justify the means. No. I think OP OP you are not the jerk here. Your partner has some uh lofty Amazing ideas. Ideas. I mean, I love to have crow friends but like it's just it's all this whole thing just seems like such a bad idea I and think so it's, infeasible it seems like a really feasible idea i think i'm just really gonna have to disagree with amber here i mean this is such a good idea op no, it is you not. are missing out I just no no <laughs> just just put the five grand down your 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 partner is gonna come up with this great idea crow nest hotels amazing just like the best no. <laughs> Our next story is, am I the jerk for yelling at my husband for stealing my toe? Bow away because FML. Also on mobile, so sorry for formatting. I'm a 30-year-old female and I've been with my husband Steve, a 35-year-old male, for five years, married for two. A couple of weeks ago, he made an offhand remark about how cool it would be if we had toes growing out of our foreheads so we could pick up stuff with them. I thought he was joking and ignored it, and he didn't really say anything about it after that. Two nights ago, my husband made me some special sleepy time tea, and I felt really sleepy after it. I thought it was just regular tea, but when I woke up the next morning, my foot was in agonizing pain. I looked down and saw that there was a bandage where my big toe had been. My husband told me that a burglar had broken into the house last night 
then had oh he had heroically fought him off but in the process my toe had gotten cut off i was pretty sure tea would be enough for me to to make me sleep through my toe getting cut off and this whole situation seemed fishy but my husband insisted it was true he also insisted that i couldn't go to the hospital because the doctor wouldn't believe me yeah it's time to go to the the hospital anyway and file a police report like <laughs> <laughs> when I got home for wait, so Opie went to work with her toe cut off and didn't go to the doctor. This seems when I got home from work, I saw my husband with a severed toe, super glued to his forehead, with his face red from exertion, like he was straining really hard. He insisted that the toe had grown out of his forehead, but you could clearly see the severed bits on the end of the toe. I told him that I knew that it was my toe. But he doubled down and told me I was horrible for insinuating that he would cut off my toe and glue it to it. He literally has a toe glued to his forehead, like... Well, I mean, there's he, nothing to say it didn't grow. He also pointed out that I had no proof, which to be fair, I didn't. He's been sulking in our room ever since. I'm starting to think I might have gone too far. Am I the jerk? You know, no, I mean... No, Opie, you're not the jerk, and you need to go to the police, like, yesterday. Well, I mean, this... I know it sounds kind of implausible, but... You know, having a toe growing out of your forehead does seem like it would be pretty neat. No, it doesn't. It also, there's no way, like, well, a sever okay, first of all, you can tell a severed toe from a regular Well, toe. we don't see any pictures here. Well, no, I mean, but she says you can see the severed toe. Well, how bits. do you know that's not just, like, stuff causing it to, like, grow out of it? Do you, when was the last time you've taken a biology class? Well, that's not important. Like, I mean, that's not, that's, that's not how an anatomy works. Well, I mean, deer have antlers growing out of their heads, and antlers are there's like bone a, structures. There's a and big stuff like difference that. between an antler and a toe. And if someone was going to have an appendage growing in a place in an at atypical location, it's not going to happen overnight. Like, this is well, I mean, sure, but maybe OP is just really unobservant and that this had no, been growing for some this time. This is Brian's bad advice. Everyone, you just need to not listen to Brian. I don't know why he's giving such bad advice today. I don't think I'm giving bad advice. I think this is really solid advice. Like, I mean, OP, okay, here's the thing it's like if your husband just really. Run. Run, uh, incredulously. run, go to the police, go to the police yesterday, file a police report against him, get a restraining order, do that. I mean, if he really did steal her toe, I mean, that would be really bad and wrong, and I can agree on that. I mean, I will give you that. If he did steal her toe, as unlikely as it is, it's very likely. then yeah, that's that was a bad thing to do, for sure. But, I mean, there's not a lot of evidence here. I mean, this just seems like this is all very circumstantial. That's literally how human biology works. <laughs> I mean... Apparently, Brian's just going to play devil's advocate this entire episode. He's not going to even give real advice. This is real advice. No, OP. OP. Listen, I mean, I Run think Run for the hills. I think that there is just a precedent here. I mean, maybe... Maybe... I mean, if you really want to, you can get the toe to see if it has, like, your fingerprints on it or, you know, is there, some is there some kind of, like, yeah, I mean, DNA test it. And, I mean, then that will clear his name and you both can have, like... It will not clear his name because this is a very clear... Okay. Well, suppose for a second he did steal her toe. Yes. All right. Okay. Which he did. Well... I mean, I think about it like this. It would have gone to waste because he defended off this burglar and the toe got you know, cut off in he it. He did not fend off. There's no burglar. It's very clear. He gave her tea laced with something and made up this whole burglar story to try and explain why her toe was missing. No, I mean, this is he fought off a burglar no, for no, her. And I mean, this no. thing, like if if and yeah. even if it's so, so burglar cuts off her toe. Why didn't he drive her to the emergency room? He was have asleep. Them he could wake her up. Like, why is she asleep so hard that she sleeps through someone cutting off her toe? Well, we don't know how well she sleeps. I mean, it just seems like circumstantial. Uh, no, no, it doesn't. <laughs> I mean, I just guess I'm going to have to agree to disagree on this one. That's yeah, really, yeah. Really because... what it boils down to. Sorry. Just sometimes how it goes. All right, folks, it is tea time. Grab your beverages of jo choice. <laughs> Make sure to grab a, a, a sip of your tea. And uh, sit back and relax. As you can see, I got <laughs> Wordle in one of six. I did not get Wordle in one of six. <laughs> I didn't get Wordle in <laughs> one of six either. 
I got it today. Was today the bad one I didn't fail yeah, at? You, yeah, you, I got... Oh. You failed it at today, yeah. Oh, I failed today, too. I got it in 6.06 today, so yeah. I did get it. This is this is Thursday for us, so yeah. we'll be seeing this on Friday, so Thursday's Wordle was pretty hard. Yeah, it wasn't fun. I, I failed, but I can always pretend like I got it in 1.06. <laughs> Which dog keeps the best time? Which dog keeps the best time? I don't know what dog... A watchdog. <laughs> oh no! There's a little illustration of a dog with a little wristwatch on. Yeah, that makes sense. It would. And I have mint tea. All right, folks. That's all the time we have for today. I hope you enjoyed this very, very silly episode of Brian's advice today. Happy April Fool's yeah, Day, happy everyone! Happy April Fool's Day, everyone! <laughs> I wrote those letters. They're not real Reddit letters. Yeah, they're not real Reddit, Reddit letters. Amber wrote them up with some ideas from me. Yeah, these were all based on things Brian actually said. Like, so Aunt Jesus is literally a thing Brian came up with. Crow nests, uh, toes growing out of foreheads. That's, that's all Brian. I just wrote them. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoyed today's very, very silly episode. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll see you all tomorrow, probably. Bye.